Well, welcome to the Post Sunday app. Glad you've joined us today. It's good to have you back, buddy. Hey, I am really, really glad to be back. Thank I mean, you. Nothing against Kent or Kevin, but... Uh, they did a great job. They did. Yeah, they did. I was really... Uh, I, I would actually watch some of those videos in South Africa when I had a little bit of a, a minute okay. of uh, internet connection, and, and uh, it, was, it was really neat to see those guys uh, step up and, and really appreciate their ministry to our church. Yeah, yeah, they did a great job. But it's good to have you back in the Thanks. saddle. Yeah, so, yeah, really miss being here. Yeah, so confronting humanity's greatest sin. Yeah, was yesterday, yeah. Uh, Luke twenty-two one through six. And for parents out there, uh, you might have noticed that our children's church did Luke twenty-two starting in verse seven. Yes. So it was yeah. a great little combo. Yeah. There, and we'll be covering that next week. So that'll be kind of fun to kind of tie all that in together. Yep. Yeah, I told my daughter she'll have to be an expert on Luke 22 yes. after next week. I actually did ask my kids. I said, well, hey, did they cover this, this, and this? Because I don't know what to do with that yet. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. good. Yeah. Take notes from that. Uh, but I did get a question from one of my kids. Uh, the title of the sermon, Humanity's Greatest Sin, mm -hmm. aren't all sins the same? So help me answer my children. Yes, yeah. all, all sins are grievous to God. You know, mm -hmm. all, all sins are, are bad. But it, it, there are, uh, it seems in Scripture, differing degrees of sin, and, and uh, the, the type of sin, uh, I guess you could say, is dependent upon a couple things. Uh, one, I think it's dependent upon the degree to which it violates God's character. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, so, for example, um, you, you see in the Old Testament differing degrees of punishment and different degrees of reparations that were necessary depending upon the type of sin. Um, and, and you see that in, in children relationships as well. So let's say a, a child um, has just kind of, you can tell there's an underlying bad attitude. And, and so as a parent, you might kind of correct that one way versus uh, a kid who's throwing this, this complete meltdown and temper tantrum. Say, hey, you know, there's, there's, more, there's, there's more going on here that we need to deal with. Hmm. Okay. There's, also, um, there's also a degree of sin based upon the access to revelation that a person has had. Okay. So, for example, in uh, Luke chapter 10, remember Jesus uh, is, is talking about these cities that have had the gospel proclaimed to them. And he says it'll be more, for example, he says it'll be more bearable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. In other words, uh, they had access to more revelation than Tyre and Sidon, and therefore they're more, more culpable, more responsible. Okay. So here with Judas, you have one who is with the Son of God and one who violated the uh, relationship that he had with the Son of God and one who actively worked to destroy uh, the Son of God, to destroy mm -hmm. God himself. And so uh, in, th in those and you also uh, uh, talk about the culpability of a sin based upon the innocence of the person who's sinned against. And here you have the perfect Lamb of God who's the mm -hmm. one who's sinned against. So all those things, I think, make this uh, as... as uh, John Piper's referred to this uh, history's most spectacular sin. It's hmm. it's breathtaking in its audacity, and the culpability of the one committing the act. It's it's truly a great sin. But of course, yes, all sins okay. are grievous to God, and and uh, all all sin deserves uh, eternal punishment for it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So what we'll give give hope to the person then that says, well, Judas having complete access to Jesus as he did. Uh, give hope to the person to say, how, how am I to live a righteous life uh, here now in 2013? Uh, if Judas had no uh, good, res didn't have a good response, <laughs> clearly, yeah. uh, how, how am I to do that today? Yeah, there is no hope. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for joining <laughs> yeah, us. That's right. And, well, there is no hope, right? <laughs> uh, in and of ourselves. And that's, yeah. I, that's kind of, sure. I hope, what, the, what people grasp is, you know, I, yeah. I am toast. Paul says uh, at the end of Romans 7, uh, he says, a wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? In other words, it's inescapable. I, even as a Christian, I can't on my own escape the effects of my old nature. A Christian mm -hmm. has a new nature, but, but even in my new nature, apart from God, I can't escape the lingering effects of that old nature, the temptation mm -hmm. in the flesh. And so our only hope is to throw ourselves upon the, the mercy of, of God, as, as we learned in the Catechism. What is my only mm -hmm. hope in life and death? Mm -hmm. That I'm not my own, but belong body and soul, both in life and death, to, to God mm -hmm. and to my Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. Good. Good. Well, I appreciate how you ended the sermon. You, you jumped to verse 22. Yeah. And said, we do have hope because of the That's Lord. That's right. That's so, right. Yeah. Well, good. Good. Well, it's good to have you. Hey, it's really good to be here. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I, people have asked me about how the trip went and, and just a lot of, uh, a lot of personal reflection on, on what God needs to do in my life. And without going into a lot of uh, gory detail, I'd, I'd say just 
issues of fear that I have in, in ministry. Uh, God has confronted me on and issues of, of pride. You know, I, I say that um, I want God to, to do neat things in people's lives, and sometimes I'm saying I want God to do neat things through me in people's lives. <laughs> and yeah, so it's, uh, sure. it, it's startling to see some of the things that, that God has brought to the surface uh, as I was away and had the chance to kind of uh, contemplate ministry a little bit. So yeah, yeah. it's good. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully this little video is encouragement to you to continue on in godliness. So thanks for joining us for the Post Sunday app.